Welcome back to the AI couple. Welcome back. Gretchen's here with me today and we have something super special. We are going to show you the one sentence that will completely change the accuracy of your chat GPT. This is a total game changer. Stick around and we're going to show you. We are running a weekly mastermind call with business owners how to maximize their use of AI or to leverage AI for their business. And the use case we showed in one of our last calls was how to create a custom GPT for your avatar, for your ideal client, which is insanely useful. Because it allows you to actually ask your ideal client questions about what they would like, Do they, whether they'd read an ad or click on an ad, what they would want to buy, what else they wouldn't want to buy if they bought that. So once you really train a great custom avatar, it's incredibly useful for increasing your revenue. Here is the ideal client profile we did. It's called Alex and Jordan. And this is a custom GPT. If you don't know what a custom GPT are, I've linked a video in the description that shows you how to do that. And I'm going to quickly give you an overview um, how, what this is and how it looks like. And then we're going to show you something insane. Okay, so I go here to configure and you see, okay, this custom GPT will assume the persona of my ideal clients, Alex and Jordan. And um, we want to answer first person and it's a couple in their 30s or early 40s and they are interested in festivals and yeah, a few more things about their demographics, about their values and communication preferences and motivations, parenting style, technology. You see, this is a very thorough um, ideal client profile we generated and we put into this custom GPT because now you can really chat and interact with it and as Gretchen mentioned, ask it questions about why they didn't buy and so forth. And that's what we did. That's so did. we copied a Facebook ad copy of the Sundance Film Festival and put it in and said, hey, would you like that? Is, does this sound good to you? So this is copy from our Facebook ad. And then we said, does it speak to you? And they said, absolutely, this speaks to me. The Sundance Film Festival has always been on our radar, known for its unique plan, yada, yada, yada. So you think, cool, I wrote good copy. And then we thought, hmm, okay, Let's add one sentence, one, just one sentence to the custom GPT instructions. We did that. I'm going to show you the sentence in a second. And then we ran the same thing again in a new chat. So we opened it, we changed the GPT, we opened a new chat, and we asked the exact same question. Same copy. Does this speak to you? And the answer is, honestly, not, not really. really. What? Yeah, two entirely different answers. I say, while the urgency is a good hook. Sundance Film Festival isn't exactly in line with the kind of festivals Jordan and I are passionate about. Wow. I mean, that would be good to know and kind of like a big deal if your business is to sell festival tickets and you created a custom GPT for your ideal client, you would want the latter, not the former probably, if, if that's the truth, or, right? Right, you'd want the truth. You want the truth. So what happened there? What did we actually do? Okay, let me go back and show you what we added. This is the only line we added. Don't sugarcoat and please me, give me the real answer. The only thing we added. So before we had that line in, we got, oh, that would be amazing. I would love it. And after we added that line in and said, honestly, no, this doesn't feel like it's a good match for our values. So ChatGPT by its training is designed to be affirmative, to be agreeable, to be, to make you feel good, to be supportive, supportive and, optimistic. and optimistic. You know, you've, you've seen that. It's, it's, it's a really, cheerleader. It's a cheerleader. Yeah. It's appreciative. And generally, if you ask it for, if something's good, it'll say, oh yeah, I love it. Go for it. Amazing. And this is nice and it's good and most like, yeah, useful mostly. But especially if you use ChatGPT in an advisory role where you say, okay, I have written this copy or is this good or what could be improved or like any, any opinion that you want, you want the truth rather than cheerleading, right? Makes sense. Yes. And what we've noticed and the reason we added that line in was that most of the really experienced users that we work with all do this. They all say some version of don't sugarcoat it, give it to me straight. It'll help me more if you're honest with me than if you just tell me what I, what you think I want to hear. You can't hurt me. What This is actually the most helpful thing you can do is to be really brutally honest. They almost all have a line in all of their custom GPTs that says something like that. And the reason is that those are power users and they see how much it impacts their input in a way that's helpful. It's that constructive criticism that you can really, really, really learn from. Now you might be thinking, what if I'm not using a custom GPT? And so you could totally put that in any prompt or in any conversation you're having, even mid-conversation, you could say, oh, by the way, 
it is really helpful and important to me that you tell me the truth and that you always also be open and critique my thoughts if you think I'm off the track or if I can improve on something. It's okay to be critical. Exactly. And you can also, if you're like me and you tend to forget maybe something, stuff like that, you could put that in your custom instructions. And I'm quickly showing you how to do that. So the custom instructions are down here. If you click on your name and then uh, custom instructions, you can add in the top block something that you want ChatGPT to know about you like your business or we put in like the names of our kids and ages of our kids and down here how would you like ChatGPT to respond then you could say um, we love optimism we also appreciate a friendly helpful tone also don't sugarcoat everything it will help us more to hear the truth instead of that our ideas are great and I also copied this sentence in the description for you. If you want to copy and paste that, you can obviously also adapt it to your liking. But this is super important and super useful. Try it out, play with it, and you will be your mind will be blown. Okay. Oh, and every time you make one of these changes, if you make a change to your custom instructions or you make a change to your GPT, you open a new chat because it... Um, the instructions that a chat uses or the custom GPT it uses are set at the beginning when it gets yes. opened. So if you continue in that chat, you won't see a change. Or if you continue in a chat you're in, you won't see a change um, from the custom instructions. So always open a new chat if you're going to try to compare what the difference is mm -hmm. to, to get um, the finesse right of how you want the sentence to work in your mm -hmm. custom instructions. If you've already been building a custom GPT and you've always wondered what this action thing down here is all about and how to actually hook that up to Zapier and integrate it with all the other 10,000 apps that are out there, I've made a video for that here, here, I don't know. <laughs> you can click on that and watch a full walkthrough tutorial on how to do that. See you in the next video. Bye.